These stories that Hoopo kids have put out were are very, very, very special to me and my sisters, Syra and Safia, because our father, Idris Shah, wrote them for us when we were children. And um, so in a way, I feel that kind of the, like the blood rushing through my veins, they're a part of me. Um, what I've come to know, and I can tell you firsthand about these stories because I've grown up with them since I was the tiniest, you know, tiniest child. What I know is they have an extraordinary ability to seep into you and to kind of grow with you. And you can, like all the great stories, you can listen to them time and again. And every time you hear them, they affect you in a different way and maybe in a, a more profound way, you know, as you, um, as you hear them and think about them and live with them. And for us in our family, living with stories that you know and you love is a really important thing. What we believe is this kind of story that is, has been used in the East for thousands of years, just as it has in other, other cultures for, for millennia, this kind of story has um, a kind of a psychological impact. Although you don't need to know how it's working or why it's working, it um, helps calm you, soothe you, and solve problems in your, own, in your own life. My father used to say stories are kind of an instruction manual to the world, and we don't need to know how they work, but they do on, on many, many levels. And I think the Hoopo Kids books are incredibly um, special because although they seem so simple and elegant, and they are as stories, they're, um, they're, they're kind of incredibly complex psychological documents at the same time. And, um, and that's why they work. And that's why I think they're so important.